today is such a beautiful day, so I thought I would just go outside for a little bit, even just sitting on the porch. I didn't get the chance to go running or biking today, but I exercised at home, which was fun. Uh, today is just beautiful, it's 62 and it's, I guess, third day of uh, spring. It's always super nice and I think I might take a walk around the neighborhood just to get some fresh air. <laughs> So yesterday was pretty cool. I did a concert, a uh, live performance of uh, flute and cello duets together with Marsha. We did it from a recording studio in Silver Spring or Kensington. Uh, I'm not sure which one is correct. So I'm in front of uh, Blue House Studios in Kensington, Maryland, where I'll be, play where I'll be performing a, a duo concert with Marsha. And it's going to be streaming live on YouTube, I believe. And um, I'll put the link below uh, this video, so if you are interested, you can watch it. It's going to be a lot of uh, fun stuff uh, that we've been preparing for a while, uh, including a lovely duet by Yuko Ubayashi, a Japanese uh, composer that we love playing everywhere, and a lot of other stuff, including some solo stuff. So I'm looking forward to that, and I hope you can uh, watch it and check it out. So this is the studio. A lot of cameras. That's Marsha. We're gonna do a sound check now and I'll talk to you soon. Check. Yay. They do actually a lot of classical music and they are really super professional. They have great uh, cameras and uh, great uh, microphones and they really know what they're doing. And apparently they do a lot of audition tapes uh, for students. They've done a lot of work for classical musicians over the years, which is great. And they, you know, they knew exactly how to set up uh, cello and flute duet. So that, that was great. And uh, it went really well, I thought. There were some parts that I wish I did better. Um, the weather has changed suddenly on us and my cello is kind of sensitive to, to temperature and humidity changes. We got there and I spent an hour like trying to tune the cello to the right uh, tuning and then when we started playing it was all crazy and the worst part is open strings. You can't really change them, you can kind of adjust regular notes but when you get to open strings, especially when the note is sharp, it becomes just a, a pain. So that, that kind of happened in the beginning of our concert. So I'm going to put the link below if you'd like to check it out. It's also on YouTube. And it was a live performance, like I said, with a lot of cool stuff that we, we did together. And also some solos. And I did the James Lee uh, piece as well that I've, I've played before. Abraham's Sons by James Lee III. Uh, what else happened? Oh, yes. Uh, this today is first day of my spring break and everybody's spring break, I suppose. Uh, but because of uh, scheduling, the BSL uh, has uh, a week off for us string players and then I think there is an actual spring break. And then they have a week of woodwinds and brass. So I actually get three weeks off all in a row, which is amazing. I wish I, wish I could uh, use this for like going to Poland or something or going on vacation but because of quarantine of course uh, that's impossible and I'm still not eligible uh, for a vaccine I'm too young it's just great to be too young for something isn't it so uh, I'm waiting and hopefully that will happen soon and maybe you know a little traveling will happen after that so because of that I think uh, I'm trying to figure out what what to do in this uh, in this period of time of uh, relative freedom. The biggest project I have that's been sitting on my computer for almost uh, two years now is uh, a whole uh, recording project that I did 
uh, with Mike Shepard almost almost two years ago, I suppose, before the quarantine, of course. We recorded a whole CD of Chopin's music for cello and uh, piano, which of course includes uh, the cello sonata and a whole bunch of transcriptions and uh, the polonaise, of course. So I think this this few weeks will be great to concentrate on that and get it done and uh, edit it and then you know go through the process of finally releasing it. I'm actually thinking about something crazy uh, to do with this uh, particular recording and the release. I'm thinking about releasing it as NFTs. I don't know if you guys know what NFTs are. They're, they're called uh, NFTs for non-fungible tokens. And these are d digital uh, media downloads that you can um, sell. And basically what you sell, you're selling is that the original files. So if you buy it, you actually own the original file uh, that uh, the artist is selling, which is quite unusual if you think about it, because you can kind of download it anywhere. You can download MP3 or MP4 or WAV file from somewhere, but uh, that will be actual, an actual original file that, that you can download. Uh, this this uh, NFT craze is happening right now, and this is a brand new thing. You can, you can look it up, and uh, you, there's a whole bunch of places to buy stuff. And, uh, what's amazing is that like, some of these uh, art art pieces are selling for incredible amounts of money. So you know, I'm not hoping to get rich of this, but you know, you never know. So that's what I'm thinking about. Maybe uh, I'll, I'll have to look into it, and I have all the time to kind of investigate this uh, uh, possibility. Anyway, I think that will be it for today, and I hope everybody is doing well. And um, cheers. Oh, and this was my dinner tonight, which uh, definitely doesn't go with my diet. This is a, uh, a lovely pork chop with some uh, pierogies and some chvikwa, which is a um, horseradish with beets. Oh, and some pickles. Of course, chvikwa and pickles are fine. It's just the pork chops and and the uh, pierogies that are not really great. But, you know, YOLO, right? Exactly. <laughs>